This MMA 30 segment is powered by Cheaterville.com. Don't go down without a fight. See who's being outed for their cheating ways online now at Cheaterville.com. Day Fair from MMA 30 here at the Head Rush Shining at the MGM Grand. The Mexicutioner, probably one of the best nicknames in all of mixed martial arts. Well, you know, I just uh, try to come up with something original and something to represent the Mexican people, you know, and it's all good. People seem to like it, so it's cool. Yeah, the nickname seems to fit. You really go out there to kill people every time you fight. You know, I usually have the intention to use technique and, and my skills, but it definitely always turns into a dog fight. So. It just goes out the window. At what point do you realize, wait a second, I've completely abandoned my game plan here and I'm just punching him in the face? Yeah, usually when you hear the crowd, when the octagon starts shaking, then you know <laughs> you're in a good scrap. You're doing something right, though, huh? Yeah, yeah, you know. Either doing something right or doing something terribly wrong when your coaches are yelling at you. <laughs> Well, your last fight at UFC 131, an absolute war. Just you went out there and laid it all on the line again. Highly entertaining fight. When you look back at that fight, how do you assess yourself? You know, that fight I, I actually am real proud of. I, I actually did use some technique and some skill, footwork, angles. Uh, you know, but when it came down to it and he wanted to stand in front of me, I, 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 had much, I was much obliged to do that. And, you know, we had a good, some good scrapping moments, but I was really proud of the, the technique that I showed in there. And your fight against Pat Berry, a lot of people thought that you won that. What's your take? Uh, you know, I thought I won. I definitely thought I won the first two rounds, but probably, you know, the judges are weird, man, in MMA. And I, I think that third round was so decisive, decisive in, in his favor that probably just erased. It's so, as crappy as it is, probably erased all the good stuff I did prior to in their heads. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I mean, the way I fought and, and probably losing that fight, Got me more fans, more exposure, and, and, and in the end, it worked out for me. A lot of people talk about the judging in mixed martial arts and what a problem it is, including UFC President Dana White. What's your position on it, being someone that's kind of been screwed by the judges? You know, like Dana says, and I'm right there with him, and, and from now on, you know, it, don't, I'm not going to leave it in the hands of the judges anymore. Like, I'm coming to win. Either I'm coming to get knocked out or I'm knocking somebody out from now on. So I promise that to UFC fans, Dana White, everybody. You know, Joe Silva was so gracious enough to give me another chance after losing two straight, which is usually the cut, you know, and uh, you know, I promised. I, I made a promise to him in the airport the next morning after the Pat Berry fight. I was like, you give me another shot and I'll kill the guy. And uh, so that's that's what I'm trying to do every time from now on. Well, you're the executioner. You're supposed to go out there and take <laughs> care of your job. <laughs> well, yeah. When do we get to see you again? You know, I don't know. I don't know exactly. I'm just enjoying my time off. I'm actually getting married on Sunday. and. Uh, you know, trying not to get too fat, but still enjoying my time off, hitting the technique up and letting some injuries heal. And, you know, I should know, though, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a, a fall return, though, either end of September or early October. Well, congratulations on the upcoming nuptials. Always a pleasure, my friend. Thank Have you. fun tonight. Thank you, guys. This MMA 30 segment was powered by Cheaterville.com. Don't be the last to know. Log on to Cheaterville.com and search your significant other now. And while you're there, search for your own name in the Cheaterville database. It's free and it's online now at Cheaterville.com.